Bartolo Colon against Maglio Ordonia. We put up the arrow to confuse the umpires. Hit the railing. We think it's a dong. It's not called one. Now watch Frank Thomas. He thinks it's a homer, so he's kind of slowing down, but then he guns it. Yet he is meat at the plate. That's too bad. Jerry Manuel coming out to argue. Pardon me, but do you have any great coupon? Thomas unhappy in the fifth, tied at one. Jose Valentin conks this one to right. Off the top of the wall. We didn't give the arrow on that one. Herbert Perry comes to score. Sox lead it two to one. Bottom of the eighth, three, two Sox. Kelly Wunsch, this pitch, not a good one. Into the dirt, Travis Fryman scores. Jim Parquet sees the lead go away. It's three, three, 10th inning, three, three. Ray Durham's up. He's gonna get his name in the paper. It's a game winning homer. Sox win it 4-3, Durham's 11th of the season. Apparently the White Sox are good. This is win number 11 in the last 13 games. Higginson against Clayton Andrews. And a reminder that entertainment coupons cannot be used to purchase surf and turf. That's a three-run dog. Eighth of the year, Tigers up 3-0. Next batter, Juan Gonzalez. Palm Moran. Deepest part of the park. 10th, makes it 4-0. Later in the first, Alberto Castillo. Give him some love to a bird. He's a tender man. Takes care of the foul. And makes sure that the team veterinarian will take over from there for more care. Tigers up 8-0. Bobby Higginson still going well. Gets it to the 18 to 26-year-old target audience. We're almost at anyway. Three-run job. Higginson 4 for 4, 7 RBI. And here we go. Yankees got Chuck Knobloch back. Had that forearm trouble. He's at second base. Not now. He's playing second base in the game is what I meant. Shane Spencer. Trot Nixon, husband of former RPM tonight employee, couldn't get him, but the ball didn't go out. Rick Day has to hold it third. Spencer thought he had a dong, he didn't. Take another look to see how women 19 to 29 feel, particularly his wife. Nixon goes up, couldn't get it. Ball just misses being a homer by inches. Yankees fail to score. Bottom of three, 1-1. One, one. Jeff Fries at second. No more Garcia Parra. Bueno. Rick Day should have it. Newbie! Missed it. Fry comes in and scores. Garcia Parra gets the second on the air. Single plus one. Two one Sox. Next batter, Carl Everett. And Everett going back to center. Bernie Williams looking for it. Can't get it. It's to the wall. Shula. Garcia Parra scores. Everett's fast. He goes to third base. He's got himself a triple. And the score, three to one. Bottom of third, two on for Tino Martinez. The corner, Derek Jeter will score. This lead is now 3-2. Very next batter, Jorge Posada against Brian Rose. That'll work. Williams scores. Everett coming up with a throw. Posada reads that and goes out to second base. Yankees tie the game at three. Top of the six. 3-3 three, three runner at third. Jason Veritek way back. Far and away. Upper deck third of the year. Media pressure will be intense for his fourth. 5-3 to Red Sox. Here's some D in the eighth. Posada to the right center. Nixon once again. This time coming in to make the play. Red Sox won 5-3. to three. So The Red Sox have won eight of the last nine regular season meetings against the Yanks, who are two-time defending world champs, but are having some difficulty. Cubs, let's play one. Cubs fans want photos of Sammy Sosa. He might be leaving to be the last shot until he comes and visits. Sosa on second. Mark Grace conks it over the Ivy. It's really overgrown. The Cubs lead at one nothing. Tied at one in the fifth. Two on for Robin Ventura. It's Kevin Tappany taking him to the corner. Jay Payton, Derek Bell, no relation. They come to score 41 RBI for Ventura. The Mets have a three to one lead. The eighth tied at three. Pinch hitter Glenn Allen Hill. Two on, one out to first. Mets try to turn two. Watch Kurt Abbott throw. Got behind John Franco trying to cover. Damon Buford scores. Cubs win. About the throw for which he was charged with an error. Kurt Abbott said, I don't think it was a bad throw at all. And John lost on Monday. Third inning, two on Pirates. Brian Jordan makes it 3 2 Braves. His 12th. Though not in this game, for that would be a record. Bottom of four, five, two to Braves. Abraham Nunez going to first with the grounder. Andres Galarraga. One and two. The unconventional double play it works out. Sixth inning, five, two Braves. And Andrew Jones goes solo, number 17. The Braves out front, six, two. Bottom of nine, now it's six, four. Two on, two out. O2 two count. Warren Morris. And Morris got a piece of it. Bruce Avon and Mike Benjamin score. And Bobby Cox is crestfallen after this because this baseball game is tied at 6-6. Bottom of 10, still 6-6.
Don Wenger winging it to Will Cordero. Took a while to develop, and then it took that to end it. His 10 Pirates come back. Seven, six winners in 10. Atlanta's Rudy Sienna is injured in this game, injured his arm. More on that in a moment. Laxton, two runners on. McLemore into the vacancy. Bro Banya is going to score. John Mabry is going to go to third. And McLemore has himself a double. Mariners up 2 0. Bottom of three. Mariners now leading 3 0. Scott Pose at the plate. One on. And going into left. Ricky Henderson's after it. To the corner. And hustles to it. Takes away the hit. And many other things. Sixth inning. It was a rainy night. Jose Santiago taking his time warming up. He'll do calisthenics. Tony Muser calls in Strom Thurmond to filibuster and read the phone book. They bring out the tarp, Johnny Damon helping, but no more help because they call it and the Mariners win in a rain shortened game 7 0. This worked well for Gil Mess. Shortened game in his first back from DL. Allowed just one hit in five innings for his second win of the year. The Mariners are 7 over 500. But the A's and the Twins, about the first. Joe Mays throwing. Terrence Long flying to left. Matt Lawton having trouble with the Metrodome ceiling. Lost it entirely until he caught it. Okay. Fourth inning, 3 2 A's. Runners at the corners, two out. Mays fakes to third. Throws to first. Randy Velarde's in the rundown. We worked on this in spring training. Ron Coomer, Conks Velarde, and Ramon Hernandez comes to score. 4 2, the A's in front. Now bottom of nine, six, five A's, man on third, two out. Jason Isringhausen gets Midry Cummings. He's leaving. That's more beer for us. The A's win it six to five. Bottom third of Oakland's lineup combined for nine hits, four runs, and three RBI. That's Miguel Tejada, Eric Chavez, and Ramon Hernandez. Why not? Rangers and Orioles, it's all part of that AL West theme. Johnny Oates and the Rangers are struggling most of my career. Top of the first, Luis Alice at the plate, and skies one to right center. Brady Anderson, he's no relation either. Oh, yes. Look out for the bikes. Into the wall. Robs LSA. We look again because it doesn't cost any of the extra. And there he is. No wall too strong for Brady Anderson. Bottom of the fifth, Rick Helling, former driller against Charles Johnson and CJ. That 2-1 lead. It's now a 3-2 deficit. Orioles up by one. Johnson's 12th of the year. Top seventh. Orioles still leading 3-2. Ball gets away from Johnson. Pudge going from first and Greedy going to third. And Pudge feeling the other end of the strong arm catcher's life. He's out. O's win it. 3-2. Texas on able to take advantage of eight Scott Erickson walks when just one for nine with runners in scoring position the Rangers lose their sixth in a row Angels and D-Race finishing off the division rundown there Mike Sosha it's a hot day you need a lovely cool beverage bottom of the first two on for Vinny Castilla facing Seth Etherton Vinny just 213 on the season but knocks in his 33rd run there D-Race up two zip top of the third Mo Vaughn with one on that has good height Mo, 19th of the year, first in 13 games, hadn't hit one since May 28th. Angels up 4-2. Bottom of this, same score. Greg Vaughn at the plate. Just cannot catch up with Etherton's high cheese. He gets out of a two-out, two-on jam. Angels win it 5-3. Etherton, his first career major league win. Now for Bell Park. It's shiny and new. Top of the seventh, Russ Ortiz against Aaron Boone. Ouch. Aaron Boone hit for the ninth time this season, but this one serious in the head. Clearly. Aaron Boone in pain, medical attention rushing out. Sean Casey worried. JT Snow once hit by Randy Johnson, he's worried. Another look as the ball hits the bill of Boone's batting helmet and then hits him in the face. Left the game, taken to the San Francisco hospital, diagnosed broken nose. Top and seventh base is loaded, one out. Hal Morris. That's got double play written all over it. Unless how you bust it down the line. He does. Dimitri Young scores. Reds, 2-1. Bottom of the ninth, though, we got drama. 2-1 Reds, 2 on for Barry Bonds. Two out hits are the best kind. Off Casey's glove, Bobby Estelea scores. The game's tied at two. Still in the bottom of the ninth. Bonds now at first. Marvin Bernard at third. Jeff Kent against yeah. Danny Graves. And Jeff Kent says, let's go eat. The base spread is there. Manning's left out too long is bad, so the Giants win it by a count of three to two. Reds have lost seven of eight. Giants improved to just five and 14 of one-run games, but beat the Major League's best team in those one-run games. Bond's RBI single came in as 3,585th at bat as a Giant. He had 3,584 at bats with the Pirates. D-backs Dodgers, this is why Jerry Colangelo wants to stay in the NL. Bottom of the first, Mike Morgan facing Gary Sheffield. Mike Morgan gives up a gopher ball to Gary Sheffield. His 18th of the year, the Dodgers take a two-zip lead. 
Top of third, Chan Ho Park facing Tony Womack. He's fast, dragging the bunt. That's textbook. Park can't get him at first, turns around because Craig Counts is sleeping. You're out. Heads up play by Park, helps himself out. Top of the fifth, Park facing Craig Council. Not at third, at the plate. This time, Mark Rizalonic making the play. Nice D. We love D. Dumb. Bottom of the eighth, Matt Manti facing Eric Karros. Karros, 228 home runs as an L.A. Dodger. His 18th makes it 229, and that breaks Ron Say's home run record for the club. Dodgers lead 6-1, win by same. Dodgers beat the D-backs for the first time in five tries this season. Park gets his first complete game since 98, fifth of his career. He's now won four straight starts. Eric Karros, three for four. Arizona, they've dropped 12 of the last 15 on the road. Against Larry Walker. Larry Kenneth Walker, you get in his house right now. He grounds into the 4-6-3 double play. Reynolds allowed one run in the sixth innings, and he pitched. Top of fifth, runners on first and third. Moises Alou up with one out. And, well, there's Larry Walker. He did not go in the house. He insists on staying in the game and playing left field. And whoops. Craig Vigio scores on that hiccup. Four zip Astros. We take another look. Same thing, only slower. Walker's fifth career game at left and just lets it drop in. He's not comfy out there. 5-3 Astros, Ken Caminiti. Ken Caminiti can hit baseballs a long way. Thin air helps, too. The solo shot, 15th of the year. He had three ribs in the game, and the Astros win at 6-3. GM Jerry Hunziker had a little 25-minute pregame chat with the boys to refocus them. The Astros respond. Reynolds wins for the first time in six starts. Billy Wagner saves his sixth and 13 chances. Colorado's eight-game winning streak at Coors is done. Cardinals and Padres, sunglasses required for this one. Top of the fourth tied at one, Eli Marrero. Two on, facing Rodrigo Lopez. He wins this battle. And feeling a little U.S. Openish, kind of golfs it out there. Marrero's fifth of the year. Cards go up 4-1. Daryl Kyle, Damian Jackson. He threw it in about 95. He came back at about 195. It was a BB, but Kyle makes the stab. It's a good scare. Seven innings pitch, two earned runs. J.D. Drew, he's been watching Mark McGuire. Hits the hanging curveball off Lopez into the people. Drew's 10th homer of the season. Cards, 111th of the year. Cards go up 6-1. They win at 8-3. Kyle said he'd never had a ball hit back at him that hard in his life.